managed to miss our stop first time, which was a good start. And now we're looking for a cable car to take. Um, we've got two days here. Um, big thank you to San Francisco Travel for providing us with the city pass. And we are staying in a little hotel called the San Rigo. Um, which have uh, offered to put us up for the night very nicely um, and we're gonna do lots of stuff while we're here so hopefully this will be a two-part video day one will be one part and day two will be the second part um, and we're hoping to cram in lots of different touristy stuff so for now we are looking for the right cable car so, that'll be fun so change plan yet again <laughs> Uh, looks like one of the cable cars is broken down or something, so one of them is currently stuck on the track and there's a huge queue of people to get on there. So we figured it's not too far to the hotel to drop our bags off, so we're just going to walk it. And uh, it'd be nice to see some of the streets as well, so we thought we'd do that. We found our hotel, so we are now in the San Remo Hotel. Ooh, lights suddenly went dippy. There you go. Um, walk in was not a good plan. <laughs> Should have taken a taxi. <laughs> Should have taken a taxi or just waiting for the cable car. That was the steepest hill I have ever had to walk, and we had to do it pushing this dude in his push chair. Ooh, right. So we're at the San Remo Hotel, which is a really um, historic old hotel and it's um they've tried to keep it really authentic so none of the rooms have been altered since it built like none of the sizes which means there's no en suites which is fine by us we're in here for the night we do not mind at all but it also means the rooms are really tiny and the furniture is all like proper traditional victorian <laughs> <laughs> this this is my child <laughs> <laughs> um, we have uh, we switched to the other camera and pulled up the wide angle so we can get some proper shots of the room for you guys to see which I will put in after this bit um, and we'll give you a proper tour of the hotel when we get a chance we just sat in our room for a few minutes taking a breather after that hill um, and then we're gonna go to Pier 39 yeah 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 Pier 39 and do some of the attractions down there so we're here. Walk 
again. What you doing, mister? Oh, climbing on daddy, is it? <laughs> <laughs> right, we should go see the fishes. Come on in. Hi guys, we are on Pier 39. We are going to find the aquarium. Um, uh, San Francisco Travel provided us with some city passes. So we have entry into the aquarium. I'm hoping anyone quite likes aquariums, likes fish and stuff like that. So I'm hoping he's going to enjoy this. So John's just gone to grab a drink and then we are going to find the lift and go use our city pass. Um, these, um, I'll put all the links for this kind of stuff in the box below. You buy the city pass and then it's a reduced entry to a couple. It's free entry with this. Aquarium's on it, the Exploratorium's on it, and a few other places are on it. Um, I'll put all the links down below. Poles, where you guys can touch some little animals if you want. Uh, you're gonna go that way over there and left. The first touch pool has some little uh, baby sharks and rays in it. They're all safe to touch and uh, there'll be a natural show you how to touch them. 
Um, the second touch pool has a lot of sea stars, sea anemones, and also is incredibly shallow. So everybody will be able to touch the animals in there. <laughs> uh, there will also be some mammals, reptiles, amphibians you folks look at, including our North American river otters, which also happen to be our native otter species. Yeah, that kind of freaks me out a little bit. <laughs> It freaks me out just a tiny bit, the thought of touching a stingray. Don't see you. Don't do stuff like that. Oh, look at the cat out of the water. Wow. The way it's coming out of the water over there is amazing. <laughs> What's that? He's like, no, I'm done. <laughs> Scary child. <laughs> Is that fun though? Yeah, you like that? You're gonna touch one. <laughs> I reach, but what I could do is I could pick one up from. <gasps> oh my gosh, she's gonna pick one up for you. Go on, dude, touch it. He's like, oh. Really <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> That's amazing. Are you going to touch that one too, dude? And daddy touch it? Oh my gosh, look at that. They do move quite a bit. <laughs> Can you touch it? Mm -hmm. These little two feet that are coming out, they're called two feet. And that's what the, the sea stars use to move around. Isn't it cool how they're able to move without having any muscles? Yeah, or any sure. blood? Or a brain? There's no blood in them either. Oh, that's random. <laughs> Daddy, touch it.
We've never been to a Madden Tussauds before. Even though we've both been to London and other places where there has been a Madden Tussauds, neither of us has actually done a Madden Tussauds. So we'll see what this one's like. We're just down the bottom of Fisherman's Wall. <laughs> Let's go. Don't know. <laughs> oh, Tony Bennett. <laughs> <laughs> John having a boogie. <laughs> You're gonna get in the train carriage. Go to the side. <laughs> The Godfather. They are strangely good at <laughs> It is scary the detail on these faces. John just had to check that it wasn't real. <laughs> it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. The eyes are amazing. Look at the detail on this. It is freaky. <laughs> Carlos Santana. My dad is a massive fan. Hey, your dad. I've met Carlos Santana too. Janice Joplin. <laughs> Jimi Hendrix. The detail is amazing. Jackie Chan. Legs, I'll pretend to understand. The mini Gold Gate Bridge. Okay, it says this is Joseph Strauss. I don't know who that is, so. <laughs> Sorry, guys. You can uh, have one of these, like, uh, what are they, photo fits? Oh, somebody's woken up. You can also have, like, little cards. Oh, there's a best dad one. <laughs> so those are really cool. Okay, we've got, like, presidential leaders. So, George Washington. Freaky how good the detail is on these. He was really tall. Okay. Okay, so. <laughs> I'm just short of 5'9. John is 6'1. And uh, he was clearly a pretty tall guy. Mm. <laughs> Abe Lincoln. Who is that? Uh, oh, Rosa Park. Obama. Are you looking at hun? Oh, tacky corner for you. Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak? Yes. <laughs> On them is insane. Facial hair details are immense. Annabelle Gates. Uh, oh, Martin Luther King Jr. Showing how they're made, which is 
amazing. Oh god, look. So Neil Patrick Harris's hand. How big is his hand compared to your son? <laughs> Ah, Gabby Douglas. That is insane. <laughs> Some details on there. <laughs> and a Muhammad Ali. <laughs> Rihanna. The Beatles. <laughs> you whisper softly to me. Awesome. <laughs> Lady Gaga, who's pretty short, so it seems. I'm taller than Lady Gaga. <laughs> and John's just pointed out she's even wearing massive heels. So she must be really small. And Madonna. <laughs> A young Madonna. <laughs> And Selena Gomez? Yeah, Selena Gomez. <laughs> oh, she is. She's a little dirt. Okay, we got a two pack. And. Jacko. Okay, there's a Bollywood section. Uh, but we don't know who they are. Well, who? We recognize her. <laughs> and then you got Bob Marley. Awesome. <laughs> Eastwood. Uh, there. Oh, and then we've got Hitchcock. And then, amazingly, we have a Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> and... Whoop. Hey, little man! Yeah. And then Audrey Hepburn in Breakfast in Tiffany's. Hey, John Travolta. We have a Marilyn over there. And a Spielberg. <laughs> Marilyn and E.T. <laughs> we have some dinosaurs from Jurassic Park. I don't know who these are, sorry. Spider-Man. <laughs> Jetly? No, Bruce Lee. <laughs> Steve McQueen. Christian Bale. Laverne Cox. Look at Morgan Freeman. Oh, he's pretty tall. Ah, <laughs> uh, we seem to have, we've hit the stars part. Nicholas Cage. He's 
really blue eyes. That's, that's Peter Dinklage. <laughs> Not too sure who that is. Zadea? Peter Dinklage, that's amazing. <laughs> Neil Patrick Harris. And a Johnny Depp. Rather intense stare off Johnny Depp there. Uh, Kate Winslet there. And then a George Clooney over here. Looks particularly slim. And then an Adele. Which is really good. That was our quick tour of Madden Two Swords for you guys. It's not a very big one, um, but it's quite a good one. There were uh, lots of really good waxworks in there, so yeah, enjoy it. <laughs>